Hey there, collectives, and welcome to your daily message. Shout out to all of you beautiful, amazing people. Grand rising to you guys. Um, we're going to tap into your energy and see what today's message is. Now, I pulled my Zodiac cards. Wait a minute, y'all need my glasses. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. All right, so shout out to all of you beautiful, amazing souls. So you could be a Leo or in the energy of Leo, I'm getting fire energy. There goes Sagittarius. And you got the moon in the reverse, Libra. So somebody's in, let's focus on this Leo energy. So you could have Leo in your charts. You could be dealing with the Leo. But these are the characteristics uh, I will. Someone who is determined maybe you need to be in this energy. Your collective energy is Leo energy. The passionate energy of fire gives life to the fixed focus quality and says, remember your sovereignty. Express your natural leadership qualities. This is no time to be shy, but instead accept the spotlight. The key phrase um, collective is I will. It says it all. Uh, your will shall be done because you will make it happen. Ask yourself, how can I shine? Gather all your courage and confidence and create your reality. So the Leo energy is all about confidence and taking your rightful place as king of the jungle. But you are not really the boss of anyone else. And you are not infallible. Avoid arrogance. So Leo energy. It could be telling you to, you know, you may somebody may be overly cocky. Or someone may need to level up their energy. Somebody may be uh, playing it safe. I guess there's a time and a season for everything. It's time for somebody to take action. It could be somebody here who is taking action, but they're doing way too much. Somebody here could be, uh, you know, five of swords energy. Somebody could be manipulating. Somebody could know that they are the ish and... It's time for a change. What's going on with this Leo's energy for the collective in today's message? That moon card again. Somebody may be playing games because of fear or someone is, is suspect. Nine of Pentacles, the chariot. So if this is your energy, if you're operating in the Leo energy, you may be coming off as very, very haughty, prideful, arrogant. Some of y'all may, some of y'all may be Leos. Somebody may got a new car and you out here flexing. They go to Knight of Cups and the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Cancer energy, shout out to the Cancers. Pisces energy. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Eight of Wands. And there go the Five of Cups. Knight of Swords here. So, <clears throat> I'm here and check yourself so you don't have to be checked. Someone may be overly confident here. Somebody may have been overly arrogant to the point where you're losing out. You think you're winning, but you're losing. Now, this could be somebody that you're dealing with collective or it could be yourself. <clears throat> you could be dealing with the Pisces, a Leo type of energy. You could be dealing with water energy, air. But there's a lot of regret. <clears throat> a lot of regret maybe because maybe somebody here was self-absorbed. Maybe someone didn't understand that they had something special because they were too busy on their own jock. I feel like somebody needs to reevaluate things because maybe somebody is realizing that their, their arrogance or their pride, somebody may be used to getting a lot of attention and it's not working. It could be that somebody has adopted a certain type of way of, of self-indulging, of self-worth or a very prideful, arrogant, I'm the ish type of energy and it doesn't work with a, a, a specific person because everybody don't want no cocky person. You're not going to make a real one feel safe enough to engage with you if you're coming off as too cocky because 
Don't nobody want to compete against that. And we know Leos are fixed signs. So you could have been dealing with a very, very arrogant person that just refused to change until they're forced to change when they realize that they ish stank. Now, I ain't saying this a Leo reading, but I'm saying somebody got the uh, characteristics of a Leo and it's not working for them. So let's see. It's just the collective today's daily message. It could be it could mean that you need to pipe up, take more action, build your boost, your confidence, but don't go overboard. Build your build your uh, confidence up. Focus on yourself. And it could also represent somebody that you're dealing with. Somebody's doing too much. I feel like somebody needs to relax. But I feel like this is this is uh, this is manipulation, though. It's manipulation that has ran its course. See, nine of pentacles, eight of cups. Somebody walked in away from foolishness. Got the nine of pentacles twice. Somebody walked away from, I feel like somebody's walking away from this type of energy. Will somebody feel like they can't trust the other person? That go Leo energy, the sun is in upside down, but we know that they go to night of source in the reverse again. So spirit could be telling somebody it's time to take action. So let's see, why is the five of swords here for the collective daily message? Why is the five of swords here? And what is the message for the collective today in this five of swords? Winning at all costs, mind games, manipulation, defeat, knight of wands. See, there it is. See, three of cups, they talking. Seven of swords, there it is, see. Hmm. Somebody probably looking at somebody saying, so, oh, that's why you don't want no relationship because you out here doing your thing, huh? So this is somebody here. Love them and leave them. That was my thing to claim. So yes, fire and desire, baby. Then I laid eyes on you. It was pain before pleasure. I feel like this is a this is a heartbreaker here. This is a player. This is a player that hides things, that's deceitful, deceptive. And it could be that somebody is trying to be deceptive to you. It could be that somebody's trying to make you feel like, you know what I'm saying, that they want to settle down, but they're really only after what they're only after of, <laughs> Ebonicky. Because somebody clearly is not wanting something serious. Not with no five of swords, knight of wands, three of cups, and seven of swords. So this person gets around. It could be somebody like in the Leo energy, see? And they go to lovers in the reverse. There's somebody here who loves them and leaves them. Playing games, the moon. Could be a Gemini. See? They call the magician card. There it is. See, somebody is extremely manipulative here, see? Could be a Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. I wonder somebody trying to work. I wonder if this person working love spells on folks. For some of y'all, it's a Leo. Something coming to the light. Because with that five of swords here for somebody, somebody could be dealing with somebody here who is a, a, a love magician. Let's say that, okay? It could be somebody plotting to trap you under some type of spell work. Somebody may call, come offer you a cup that's fixed. You better look deep inside that cup and see what the ingredients are. Feel like somebody wants you bound to them. It could be somebody trying to return to you that's trying to come back in here and work some type of love spell on you. And it's gonna be through intimacy. What's up with this moon and the magician? Somebody wants to win at all costs with that five of swords and that seven of swords. This person ain't trying to settle down. I feel like this person want to get you stuck where you chasing after them because they ego needed. See? Sun card in the reverse. For some of y'all, it's a Leo. Like I said, they, and like I said, they ain't offering much of nothing here. They're going to procrastinate and play games. They just want you chasing after them. Somebody's going to come try to manipulate you because... 
or someone is trying to tempt you, somebody wants you stuck, especially if this is somebody you freed yourself from. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn? Eight of Swords. See, I feel like somebody want you stuck. Somebody say that they're going to make sure you don't go nowhere else. They say they see you got it going on. Ooh. Hierophant. Mm. Six of Wands and the Four of Wands. See? The Hermit. Six of Pentacles. See? Some of y'all may be dealing with somebody here who don't want you to be with nobody else. And they're working love spells on you. They've been doing it for a while, too. See, Three of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, the Hermit card. Somebody wants you stuck on them at any means necessary. You could be somebody here who unfreed yourself from this, the hope that they had on you, and they're going to try to come back and get you back stuck on them. What's up with the chariot? Mm. Somebody say they love spell is from the Knight of Wands and the Lovers in the Three of Cups. You wink, wink. Okay, that's how they're going to try to get you with the Magician. See, the Strength card, Leo Energy. See, there they go. Five of Swords. There they go, see. Somebody wants you, some, somebody wants you wrapped around their finger is what I'm getting. Could be a Leo. They're willing to do whatever they have to do to get you to. I'm telling you something in that cup or something on that wand. Don't drink it. See, here they come. There it is again. See? They done had that cup fixed. That cup is dressed for you. Knight of Cups. Wow. Somebody probably trying to slow you down so you can't get away. Knight of Cups. And it's all from love magic. Knight of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Five of Wands. There it is. This person wants to, may want to make sure that you're not dating other people. They trying to stop you. They go that five of cups again at any means necessary. See, they've been doing this for a while, but I feel like you broke free from it and they're going to try to come back. Don't drink that cup. See, ten of swords. I feel like this person has a lot of toxicity on their other end. This is somebody who likes to control everything. They can't handle rejection. This is somebody here who can't handle rejection with the eight of cups in reverse because I feel like you already left this person and you already freed yourself and now they can't handle rejection so they're going to come back and I feel like somebody that hyped it up a little bit more. Somebody that did more. I feel like this is something that they've been doing but somebody has emptied it up. It's like desperate call, time calls for desperate measures. I just heard, don't fail me now. I got to turn it so he don't want nobody else but me and only me. Don't fail me now. I got to turn this so he don't want nobody else but me and only me. <laughs> Shout out to Missy Elliott, god dang it. Y'all know what's up with that song. That's somebody don't want, don't want you to want nobody but them, even though they probably messed up, see? Because you're dealing with a narcissist, see? The emperor could be your baby daddy. Somebody baby daddy working spell work on them, see? Because they are a toxic, karmic person. And all they want to do, somebody is upset that you, you're free from them. You're avoiding a tower moment with them because I feel like things could get worse and some of y'all have moved on and they're going to come back and try you because they regret. Somebody lost their power over you.
and now they're jealous. They're jealous because you're independent, you're looking good, you're self-sufficient, you don't need them for nothing. See, eight, eight, of, eight of wands, y'all moved on. Y'all don't want that knight of wands energy no more. And that's what they have a problem with. You could have children with this person. This person going to be calling you, trying to always bring up those kids. That's why you have page of pentacles and the page of cups. And that go to page of swords. For some of y'all with that emperor in the reverse, y'all dealing with a toxic karmic child's father and, it, and if all else fails they're going to use those children because they're hating on you because you're independent you're doing your own thing this could have been somebody here who ain't doing what they're supposed to do for you and you done broke free and now things is good for you you're taking care of your children on your own you've moved on and now they're trying to figure out how to block you but you already gone they don't even understand that they're stopped they don't even understand that they don't have no power over you they don't have no power. It's all in their mind. Because if they had power, you wouldn't be free. See? It's back up on them. Nine of swords because they spell, they spell work ain't working no more. See? Somebody want to have you hooked on them like you once was. With the, why, why they go run the streets with everybody else. See? This is, this is what they wanted you hooked on. Five of swords. Remember, this is Leo energy that's coming up. Fire energy, but it's Leo. Knight of Wands, Five of Swords, Knight of Wands, Three of Cups, Seven of Swords, and the Lovers in the Reverse. So this person was dealing with toxic other relationships. So quite naturally, if, especially if you had children with this person, Emperor in the Reverse, y'all was going to leave that alone. You got away from this person, and you're doing very good on your own, and they're jealous. And they hoping that they can get you back like you used to be, where you was under their control. Because I just feel like, see, this person ain't no movement in their life. They're, they're not able to move forward. They're not able to let you go like you walked away from them because they were doing something. For some of y'all, you was with this person for that long because they was manipulating you. You wasn't supposed to be with this person this long, but they was behind the scenes doing work, uh, magic on you. They had you matized. All right, five of cups. Somebody's breaking free of that. Y'all realize that this community knight of wands right there with the ace of wands in the reverse. What they say, the gig or the jig is up. Somebody say, I take my babies and we'll go on. And I don't see no empress, but I see that emperor in the reverse. But look, you got the five of cups. Ace of cups. Hmm. Eight of pentacles, seven of wands, seven of cups, see? Six of cups in the reverse that they're going to try to come back. Somebody's going to try to start over with you, collective, but they're trying to get you trapped. See, because the seeds that they planted is no longer working. See, they want you to invite them in. Somebody wants access to your personal again. If they can gain person, if they can gain access to you personally, they'll get you again. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. I feel like somebody going to try to make you think they're going to give you the world. But it could also represent that you're moving on. They could be, like I said, this person could be jealous that the seeds that they planted no longer can affect you. And they cannot stop new things coming your way. That's what I see. See? See, like I said, while they was trying to block your magnificence, see, Ten of Pentacles, you're going to get it anyway. But for some of y'all, you got it while you, when you walked away. It's like as long as you stay underneath this narcissist, you're going to be underneath their spell. But as soon as you break free, then all of your blessings are restored, see? Nine of Pentacles, this person was jealous of you. They wanted you stuck. They didn't want you to flourish, see? Uh, somebody may have tried to keep you tied down or this person didn't want you to move on and find happiness somewhere else. Four of Wands to Six of Wands, almost like you were destined for greatness. It's just that you was with a karmic person that was blocking stuff. Now that you done left that person, their spell work is broken, and now it's back up on them because they can't stop. See, this person is left with the bag now, see? That's what they got to deal with right there. Because of their gains, they out in the cold, and they full of regret because whoever this is for, you got new beginnings happening, see? Your wishes are about to come true. You leaving somebody in the dark here is what I feel like here. See? 
you got to, I feel like you're going to end up, for some of y'all, y'all going to end up being in a whole nother long-term relationship. It's almost like what that other person didn't give you, you're going to get it anyway. And it's going to be healthy. See, four of wands, six of wands, ace of pentacles, ten of pentacles, ace of cups. They're not getting this because you're shutting them down. Like, I feel like their strength, I feel like the spell, I just heard, um, um, the wicked, what, the wicked witches, it's something like that. The wicked witch is gone. The wicked witch is unalive, okay? It's almost like the witch is gone. You, it's like your rejection was your protection. You got away from this person because I feel like something could have been worse. Especially if you are financially successful, somebody was going to take you through it. They were going to control your whole life, but I feel like somebody realizing that, that they couldn't control what they did not own. And even when you own something, you can't control it. It's just almost like somebody's deception is over. It's over. So all I can hear is over. Now go ahead on and live your life collective because it's over. They don't have no power over you anymore. Because like I said, some of y'all was in a toxic relationship way too long because they were doing stuff to you. And they was keeping you because they was laying it. See? Somebody know how to get them. See? See? They know what they was doing. See? And you probably was trying to figure out why you couldn't walk away from this person. But I feel like you're free now. And you on the, on the way up now is, is to the top. Somebody kept you stuck because you was the real gem. They didn't have nothing to offer but that. See? All right, Collective, that's your daily message, honey. Please like, share, and subscribe.